Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm here right quick at this little intro right quick. Uh, this interview with K-Love, good-ass interview. I, I appreciate her coming on right quick. But I just want to let you know and, and apologize to you guys for the technical difficulties in the first half of the video. Uh, unfortunately, I had camera problems. Uh, it went it, it went complete right, right when we was conversating. So... Please excuse that. Uh, later down the video, it will pop back up. Of course, I will be back up into you know into the video, and you guys can see it. Um, I also want you guys to stay tuned to the end of the podcast. And Thank you very much. I really do appreciate you guys listening and watching. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this video started, man. K Love. And to you, K Love, thank you for coming on, man. Let's go. You ready? Eyes ready. You say, you say, eyes ready. Hold on. Eyes ready. Eyes ready. <laughs> you say, eyes ready. Hold on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, got to switch it up for you guys, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I switch it up all the time. All the time, you know? Something that y'all can bounce to, something that y'all can vibe with. That's that's what my podcast is all about, you know what I'm saying? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Freestyle Podcast Fridays. <laughs> I am your host, Lockout Men. And... Um, I want to I want to thank you guys for being here with me, watching. You you either watch me on YouTube or uh, or you listening to me on your favorite podcast. Uh, what podcast uh, platforms? I guess. And there's a lot of them. There's a uh, there's um let me see iTunes. There's a uh, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Or you could just find me on Anchor. You know what I'm saying? That's that's basically where you can find me at. Well, I am your host today, Lockout Men, and welcome to Lockout Men Podcast Show. I am back at it with another podcast interview for you guys today. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell along with that all button so you can get content like this now in a minute i got so many interviews so many wonderful people that i have talked to so many interesting people that uh that came on the show i, I got them so backlogged that I, i'm about to start start making a particular day so you guys can catch these people you know what i'm saying because you know youtube i i don't understand you i i I'm, I'm still trying to figure out this YouTube thing. I've been on this platform for over uh, for years, and I, I, I still can't figure it out. But it ain't about me. It ain't about YouTube. It's about my guests today. Today, I've been knowing this young lady for a good while, actually uh, a couple of years. I met her back in uh, back in the uh, Beast what, Trucker. Well. At one time, it was called Trucker Kings and Queens. It was the it was the lit. Actually, it was lit. I gotta admit, during that time when she was there, it was it was pretty lit. You know, everybody had some good stories to tell. We had some good conversations in there, and it just I don't know what I don't know what happened. But anyway, anyway, that's where I met her from. I would like to bring on to the show the original K Love. <laughs> How are you today? I'm good. How are you, like I'm I am all right. The original K Love, K Love, one hundred seven point nine. Oh, seven point nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I remember. I remember when, uh, when, when you and uh, when you and Lawrence, you know, did that. No, I like that. The yeah. co-hosts with each other. That was, you know, every time you came in, he come in and do his little spiel. 
Me and Caleb, one hundred seven point nine for your listening pleasure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I used to look. I used to look forward to that too, all the time. I mean, yeah, I, it was, it was, it was awesome. Like I said, it was back then. You know, back back then, it was, it was pretty lit. You know, we yeah, we had a we had we had a good we had a good core of people in there. Uh, the conversations was on point. Uh, some of the com- huh. Stayed on point. Stayed yeah. on point. Yeah, stayed on point. Yeah, and some of the com- <laughs> and the camaraderie that was in there, it was it it was it was real nice. It was real cool. Uh, mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it went to the wayside, but I guess we could talk a little bit more about that later down the line. So why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you uh, let my let my people let my people know let my people know who you are and uh, where you come from. Well, my name is Keisha. I'm originally from Houston, Texas. Um, oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. You, you did not, you, you did not say what I thought you said. You said Houston, Texas, tatted on my arm. Shout out to Houston. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The home of the home of the chopped screw. And uh and that's where a majority of my people is is from Houston, Texas. Shout out to Houston. All right, go ahead. Okay. So yeah, um a lot of people call me K Love. Um, only because of course my name is Keisha, mm-hmm. and they always say I'm always showing love. So it's not the love that spelled L-O-V-E. It is special because it is L-U-V. L-U-V. So it is the love you, the love you, the love you vision. So, yes, um, I'm K-Love. Okay, uh, again, I'm from originally from Houston. Um, I've been having my CDLs for... 18 years, 18 years, but I've been trucking for seven. So, yeah, I wait, started off. Wait, eight, wait, 18 years, and you've been trucking <laughs> for seven? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Don't don't add up and try to add up my age. Don't. Yeah, I, I, but I, I look good for my age, so yeah, I'm gonna look, go ahead and damn, say that a lot you, of women don't damn want good to say your, how old they you, are. You look damn good go for your age. It. You you look damn good for your age. For you you <laughs> had you, you said I'm gonna go ahead and say it. What? I'm forty. You forty. I am forty. You forty. I am forty. You forty. Yes, I am forty. And you had your CDLs. So, now you you say you had your CDLs for how long? 18 years. Yeah. I started off uh, bus driving. Okay, so you so you so you was a class B before you migrated into right, a, I was class, a class B into before, a class A. Before I just decided out of nowhere, like I just out of nowhere, I was like, I mean, as a young girl, I just always said, "Hey, I want to drive." I used to see, you know, riding in Houston because of course it's all you see in Houston is big trucks. So I'm just in the back seat of a car. I was like, I just, I'm tired of driving the bus. I love the kids and everything, but I just was like, uh, I had issues going on with myself, and I could, I was like, I made decisions. I was like, you know, I'm gonna go and drive trucks. So I learned on my own. I went and took the class A test. <laughs> didn't even know. Like, I, seriously, I didn't even know I had to drive the truck, actually, once I passed the test. So I'm like, I passed it. Yeah, the lady's like, oh, yeah, now you can um, get your truck and bring your truck in so you can drive. I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so right when so right like, when you pass they 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 bounced you in the truck so let so let's go yeah. so, so let's go back uh, let's go back a little bit uh uh, uh young keisha uh when did you <laughs> when when did you decided that you wanted uh that you wanted to get your your cdls um a little out of um high school i had started off um driving for like I was chaperoning or whatever. I got my chaperone license. And I was chaperoning and driving a limo and um one of the guys that was in a limo, he was like, Hey man, you can do you know, you can do this and drive school bus. 
my adopted mom, she drove buses for years. I never thought about it, but, you know, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, so for the so you. so for the people that don't know, uh, there there was there was different tiers to this uh to this CDL shit before what it is yeah. now. Yeah. So the first tier or which is which is no more was chauffeur's license. How how was it? How how was it to get those particular licenses? What you had to do well, to get those much licenses? You could- Pretty much you can just really, um, you had to have regular um, license, your Class C license. But to get um, chauffeur license, you actually had to go out and where I, I did it out in Beaumont, in Beaumont, Texas. So what they did, it's a small town. So um, I got with this company that um, had um, limos and these long, um, you know, chauffeur cars like the limos and mm-hmm. the sticks excursions and all of them so you had to take one of them and you had to take a class so i took the class with the company that i was working for okay that had hired me and so um i passed the course and then they took me down and got the the little i um showed them the little permit that i passed the course and they put it on my license Mm mm-hmm so that was the chauffeur license. Okay, okay. And I did chauffeur for about, I chauffeured I, by itself on and off for about six six months. And then I started driving school bus. All right, so chauffeuring, chauffeuring people around in them, in them, in them fancy ass limousines, who, did you, did you, uh, come across anybody famous or was just regular folks or people that was getting married? I mean, I, I, I hate to, I hate, I, I, I hate to go <laughs> far as to say, you know, did you do some perceptions, some funeral uh, perceptions and stuff like that? No, uh, I did. I did pretty much a lot of like, um, judges, um, like some bands, like I said, those, small town y'all so like judges um kids that you know was on prom and a lot of them i did a lot of them um a lot of the judges in beaumont had their own little thing going so they would like go and get a lot of um bands um i hate to be but it's you know it's a small town so it's like so it wasn't no it was like was it major. any pop was it any popular bands like like Drake or to me, Slim Thug? To or? me, y'all would say I'm old fashioned, so I really wasn't into them like that. I mean, I'm just driving. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just driving. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't really it didn't really matter. You like, wasn't you wasn't star driving. you wasn't starstruck. No, oh, no, okay. not at all. And even to this day, I'm still not. But it's just, you know, that's just the way it was. I was like, they like, oh, you going to get such and such? Man, I wish I was getting them. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm picking oh, okay. them up at the. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm picking them up at the airport. You know. <laughs> oh no, no big deal. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just going to pick up Drake at the airport. Yeah, That's all. Yeah. What? Yeah. You, can, can, I, like, can I get this? Like, man, I wish I could be going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a, okay. No big. No. No biggie. Next. Keep it. No keep biggie. it moving. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. So you migrated from uh from uh chauffeuring. You said you only did that for six months. Into in, into driving buses, and I guess that's where you that's where you came into your own. Uh, for for the duration of uh the duration of your CDL life, man, I thought I was going. I thought I was stuck. I love the children. I love driving school bus. I love what I was doing. Um, every day I look forward to getting up driving the school bus. Of course, with the CDLs Class B, um, I went to the school district out in Beaumont, and um, which I drove for a couple of school districts out there. But Beaumont was I worked longer. Um, and that's why I originally got my license um, with um, BISD. And so um, they they take you to, you know, they, you, you do this training, you uh, get a permit. Mm-hmm. Once you get a permit, you go down and you have so many. I think back when I was doing it, they, you only had, you had probably like 90 days to actually go, you get your permit, 90 days to get your permit and actually 
um, get, do your general get your, knowledge get your, test. Get, get your license over before they kick you out the door. Before they kick you out, right. So it was 90 days. I received mine, and like I said, I drove for a while. I loved it. I didn't think I was going to get out of it until, I, you know, I um, decided to, do, like I said, just drop everything out of my life. And I really just dropped everything and started trucking. I just wanted, I don't know. I just was like, right, I'm going to drive truck. Right, we, we haven't got to the trucking part yet. I'm, I'm, I'm still, <laughs> I'm still mystified on this bus thing right quick. So you, okay. so you, so you drove for different, you drove for different school districts or was there, uh, yeah. was there just one school district or you drove for all of them? Well, in Beaumont, you only have Beaumont independent school district. So it's BISD. Oh, okay. Um, and then in Port Arthur, they have PISD. So it's the Golden Triangle. Uh, a lot of people don't really know it's the Golden Triangle. So you got Beaumont, Netherland, Port Arthur, Orange, Sealsby, and all those actually have their own school districts. Okay. So how so, how was um, I, how how did you get how how did you get um how was you paid? Because I'm 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 assuming driving the school bus is not a it's not an all day deal. I mean, you 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 pick up, no. you you pick up, you drop off, and then you, you you off for a little bit. Then you go back, pick up, you drop off, and then you're done. How 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 so did you get the cool part about it? How did you guys get paid? How how did how did you guys get paid? That was the cool part about it. You have a tier, um, then it goes by seniority. So it's like um, seniority rule. You, the highest pay was at the time that I was back then. It was the highest pay was like twenty one dollars, of course. Uh, twenty one dollars um, an hour. Yeah, okay. an hour. So you had to be there for as long as my godmother was. She did thirty five years, and she retired, went back, and drove for another what six or seven years. So, yeah, but um, you had your seniority. And the way you do it is like you bid on your runs mm -hmm. and your runs depend on what time you went in and what time did you get off. Now you always have a morning shift and you always have an evening shift. Right. So it's always uh, a morning shift usually starts about five mm -hmm. by five thirty mm -hmm. till about uh, nine. And that nine, and nine o'clock like is I where said, nine o'clock is where all the students are in the school. Of course, we talk in Central Time on my time. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah. And then all the schools are actually in by 9 o'clock, and you have time to get back to your to to your um, at bus bond. We call it the bus bonds. Um, so, it's like you get have time to get back to your bus bonds because BISD is, uh, is not, I mean, it's little, of course, it's little by mine, but the buses, they had tons of buses, so they had to have so many different lots. To, to put those buses on because they had to transport so many people and I mean so many kids so it was like you know they um, provided the service it was privileged so okay so okay so again uh so you only get paid for when you driving or do you get paid so the whole driving, day you get paid okay so you get it is a full time thing. Okay. So they do pay you for forty hours a week. Oh, okay. But you're really not working forty hours. Okay. So they got you on salary. Extra stuff. Right. It's salary. Oh, they, so they got so you on like, salary. It's, okay. 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 It's it's per hour, but it's like salary per hour. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like, if you, that's why it's seniority rule. You know, that's why they have to put the seniority there so that you know everybody can bid on the runs because the better the run, the better the run is. The more money you get. Okay. Okay. Uh, so did you? So did so. Bus driving is only is I, I want to say like it's a seasonal thing, right? Because you guys you you don't drive. Do you? Do you? No. Are you still employed during the summertime when the school's out? Yeah, and so yes, yeah, so it's like um, that is an extra board. So it's like you can only drive for the summer if you decide to just. I mean, for the school year, if you only if you decide to drive for just the school year. So if you 
don't do the school year, you have a choice to do after, I mean, uh, what is it, um, summer school. Right. So summer school, if you drive for summer school, that's, you know, that's extra. Um, then they also have, like, extra stuff that goes on outside of, which is like the extracurricular, mm -hmm. I apologize, extracurricular activities, which is, you know, like your football, your basketball, your cheer, your swim team, your soccer team, your baseball team. Through all the seasons, you have all this going on, so you're con they're constantly needing to be transported. So okay. you still have drivers that still transport those those you know, and then you have um, drill team. You have you have so many different things, and those kids are doing so many things to where you're constantly working throughout oh. the whole year, pretty much. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so bus so bus driving uh, during the duration. Uh, what what made you? Uh, what made you uh, migrate over to a class A and and get into the trucking industry? Like I said, I don't know. It was just one day. I just was like, um, oh, and also they, I just was like, I want to, you know, just go, I want to try trucks. But they also had started with in Beaumont where um, they were actually trying to, they had been, the money started acting funny and looking funny, so they started cutting drivers, talking about um, contracting us out and all that other kind of stuff. Of course, a lot of people, if you drove, if you drove buses or if you even if you had to know about the school, okay, uh, independent schools, that's that's what they do. Uh, try to go into independent contracting so that you know they can cut pay and you know save money. So that's what they ended up starting to do, and I was like, I don't like people mess with my money. Uh, who, who does? Like, <laughs> who does? Who, 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 who does? I, I don't like nobody messing with my money either. I mean, when the money start right. getting messing with, so, then I, I got to start making power moves. I'm, I'm sorry. I got to start making some moves. I'm so sorry. I started, you know, my mind was set on go for your A's. And so I started taking, and then I also have truck drivers in my family. My uncles and all of them was like, hey, you know, you get your class A, you know, you can come drive with me. They had their own trucks and everything. And I'm like, okay, okay. Now, so what else I need? Now, you know, and I'm asking them, like, what all I need? Now, so they was like, yeah, when you get it, get your get your um, hazmat, you get this and you get that. And mm -hmm. then you, I could bring you in. <laughs> all right. So let me ask you this very quick. Um, mm -hmm. Driving with family. Well, no, doing no, anything. Jesus. With family, with family, did yeah, did, no. that, did that did that did that kind of work out for you after you got your Ugh. your A's? So I love my uncle. I love him to death. He's almost like my daddy um, because you know I, I I was brought up in the in you know the hood kind of sorta. But so my uncle kind of raised me, and so he was almost like my my daddy. Mm -hmm. So he everything that I did was almost like almost went through him. So I was like, you know, I went to him. I'm like, I want to get my A's, and you know, I'm doing this. I want to do this, 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 and this. And like I said, he was constantly saying, "Well, if you do this, this key, you know." He called me Key. Of course, I got a number of names. But he's like, if you do this, 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 and this, he was like, I got you. I got you. You come to Houston, I got you. And I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. okay. All right. So when I got my license. I was like, hey, I got my license. Oh, what's going on? What's up? Mm -hmm. He was like, you got your, you either got your hazmat? Yeah, I got my hazmat. What's up? <laughs> you said, right. you said get everything. Like, yeah, yeah. He was like, uh, okay, Key, well, you know, uh, so he started crawfishing. I'm like, oh, oh okay. So my story of jumping into trucking i actually had to get out after i got my license of course and i did it all by myself so i didn't go through no schooling or any of that i did it just by going down to the dmv passing the test like i said the lady was like get a truck and i was like oh so i called my uncle and he was like because i was thinking i was like oh i can use his truck right like you said right. family right family <laughs> he was like man i gotta i gotta drive i gotta make the money i can't <sighs> let you i'm like oh okay wow was like, uh, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do. He's like, well, hey, I can, I, I can turn you on to this guy, and they have some little classes out here. You might get paid him. Wow. And at the time, the guy was acting like five seventy five just to use the truck. <laughs> yeah. Hold, hold on, right quick. Yeah, the guy was. Hold, hold on, right quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Hold on. Um. All right, so your your uncle he 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 got you all gassed up. You got your license. You went and got your license. You didn't, you know, you you didn't go, you know, didn't go through the traditional way of getting your license by going to school. You pretty much had you pretty much migrated from a chauffeur's license into a class B license and then then into a class A. Basically, you could just, you know, if you go and pass, you know, get your permits and everything uh, and, you know, know a little bit about the pre-trip and I mean, the pre-trip and, uh, and the post-trip and all like that. And then if you know the ins and outs, which you probably did because you grew up with a you grew up around truckers. So you pretty much watched them as 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 you came along, but he sort of he, he sort of bust your bubble because he wasn't there for you in the end. No, because it was like okay, yeah, but um, I can turn you on to this person, and you have to pay this, oh. and I'm like, and you oh, couldn't do you okay. be like you couldn't do it for me, bruh? Like we're family. Yeah. Why do yeah. I gotta? Why do I gotta pay? Why do I gotta pay? And we're family. Wow. Right. So at the time it was five seventy five. I went. I went and did the little class. And five seventy five as in as in five hundred and seventy five dollars. Yep, five hundred and seventy five dollars to use the truck mm-hmm. just so that I can drive to pass the test now the um the guy um the it was actually like a, a training class but i didn't go through the whole training okay it was like i was just really just using the truck but they did take you out to make sure that you knew everything that you needed to know about the truck and all of that and um how to bag how to parallel park and you know um i'm not bragging but the guy was like have you drove a truck before? I'm like, no, nope. I just drove school bus. <laughs> no, you haven't. You had to drive a truck before. I'm like, uh, nope. So you have, so you got so you got in that bad boy like a pro. Yeah, pretty much. Not bragging, just confident. <laughs> you say you say not <laughs> you say not bragging, not bragging. I gotta, I gotta, nah. uh, not not bragging. I gotta give you a bomb drop. Uh, Give you a bomb shot for that, for not bragging, yeah, even not though bragging. you got up in there and did the damn thing. That's what you're supposed yeah, to do. Yeah, I mean, hey, that's what I do. You know. All right, so uh, I love it. So se- so seven years strong. Uh, you you drove a flatbed, step deck, container, drive-in, reefer, and now you currently drive tankers, man. You 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 pretty much did it all. Well, I had to get into flatbed only because when I first started thinking about trucking, I was like, dang, it's a man's industry. Um, mm, I got to try to show I'm strong enough to do this. So that was in my mind. So I got, I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to start high. And I'm going to do flatbed. What, so was, your, own, like what was your experience? Really what was your experience with, uh, with flatbeds? Oh, I loved it. Um, I pulled uh, engines. <laughs> I was like, I had a guy, I, I had a company that just really was like, the guy, he was black, um, was black owned. And like I said, like a lot of you guys that I've actually met, everybody was like, just trying to help, you know, help our people. And um, he was one and I, I really did not know how to float gears. Mm-hmm. So I was like, um, I don't know how to float. I don't know how to flow no gear, so I'm steady using. He's like, no, 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 no. You gonna buy me some another clutch? I'm like, huh? He was like, yeah, you gonna have to buy me another clutch doing that. Let me show you. So he showed me how to float the gears, and I got into it, and it was nothing. Mm-hmm. With him, I was going from Texas to Louisiana every, every, uh, every other day. So, so this was um, flatbed, right? Flatbed. Okay. Yes. So what? So 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 you was was you heavy hauling? Because you said you you just it said was, it was um, in, you lot, draw engines was, and stuff like that. Yeah, well, it all depended on like um, where how far it was going. Um, yeah, I pulled engines. I pulled um, shows um, lumber. That was the heaviest 
that hum- that lumber is heavy. But uh, yeah, I pulled pretty much just about everything. Man. I think it's in flat bed. In flat bed. Man, no. what 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 these guys was acting like when they see a little five foot nothing come come up out of the truck? What what was they uh? I'm only five, five That's what I'm saying, year. man. You um, coming up, you you coming up five foot, five foot nothing, showing these dudes pulling pulling uh pulling engines and and lumber and all like that. Was you tarping? Was was you tarping too? Yes. I mean you yes, you was, was up there you only, you was up there doing the damn for thing. Only fifty dollars. Like all my tarps was only for fifty dollars. So I, it's like at the time I'm like fifty dollars. I want to know how these. I want to get. I want to know how the guys was reacting to you when they when they saw when they saw you come up out the truck. Um. Well, some of the time I didn't have to do a lot of my stuff, but I had to do a lot of you know watching and making sure my stuff was done right. <laughs> but a lot of the times, a lot of the guys was like. You need some help? I'm like, nah, I got it. You show? Like, nah, I got it. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. You come up out the truck and they all like, whoa. Wait. You a yeah. flatbed driver? Nah, where's your where's your boyfriend at? Where's your where's your male counterpart yeah, at? Where's your was, where's is he in the back? back? Is he in the back? Yeah, a lot of them would stand back and look to wait and see if somebody else was gonna get out. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But, yeah, That's what I'm saying. No, this uh this no. little this little girl right here in her twenties doing some flatbed work. Damn. That's what's up. I had to give you another bomb drop. All right, so uh, so you stepped up to uh, well, drive in and reefer is self-explanatory. So you know we, you know that's that's pretty much self-explanatory. But now you, uh, yeah, I did. I I drove drive in and reefer for uh, Euless Express. Oh, of course you know. oh, oh, what, what, you who, what, U.S. Express? Oh my God, you got a story for U.S. Express. You got it. You got to tell me. Yeah, you got you got to tell me the story because um, uh, I, I I was a U.S. Express driver and I had my stories there, so I'm sure I'm sure you got a story for U.S. Express. Yes, I do. So I was pretty much driving for them. They started off saying that everything was going. I mean, it started off like horrible. Go from Houston to Dallas just for the training and, you know, just to get the, you know, get through the application part. It was horrible. Um, but I still kept it positive and I was like, okay. So I, the first time, the first time, uh, he, he, the guy who, um, your recruiter recruited me. Right. Right. He was like, Oh, um, yeah, we're going to get you in. We're going to get you in. So the first time they they sent me on the bus, the bus broke down. I turned around and came back home. Then the second time the bus broke down, turned around and came back home. Wait, wait, wait. Bus? Uh, the, you, you're, talking about, you're talking about a Greyhound? Yeah, they, right, Greyhound. They sent me from Houston to Dallas on a Greyhound, and I was, like, supposed to just – they were supposed to pay me for that. And they never paid me, so I was like, wait, wait, on, wait, 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 wait. Houston to Dallas. Now, uh, period, Texas is like the largest state. I mean, from one end to an from one end to another could take a whole week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but from Houston four and a half, five hours right, from Houston to Dallas. Right. Four and but from, a half, five hours on the bus. But from Houston yes. to Dallas, they couldn't give you they couldn't give you like a a a, a, a rental car or something like that to Mm-mm. to drive down there. Mm-mm. And I asked them if I would drive if I drove my car, would they give me? It's like no. Yeah, like reimburse uh, you for your fuel. Ticket. And it's like, no, we'll get your ticket for Greyhound. Greyhound. Like, uh, okay. Well, you know, you know, with this, with yeah. this C nineteen thing that's going on right now, yeah, a I lot know. of a, a lot of companies is not even doing Greyhounds no more. So that's that's probably that's probably a good thing 
that came out of thing. that came yeah. out of all this. But uh, but uh, bus broke down twice. So you 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 finally so get yeah, down there. The first, I finally get in. I get they finally. Well, I got it down there, and that my for some reason they had a problem with my experience. Um, oh. they couldn't get in hold to some of my people, whatever, oh, and they was okay. like, "Oh, you, we gonna send you back." So they sent me back. Send you back and where? What? Bus come right back. Wait, wait, wait. Send you back where? Send you back home? <laughs> to Houston, yeah. For what? You, what? Yes. They could. Okay, so. Because uh, they couldn't contact. So, wait, wait. Where was your experience level at when you when you came into. At that point, at that point, I had two years verifiable, but they only verified a year and a half. So they say, out of wait a year and a half. And they didn't even pay me for the whole year and a, a half. Year, a year and a half. For a, year. a year and a half. Out of out of out of how long you say you've been driving? Two years. For, you've been I, had, dri- I had been driving for 18. I had been driving for two years before I started with Ulysses. Okay. Oh, wait. 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 Uh. Yo, yo, total time. I'm, I'm going by your, uh, your CDL time. Your, your, CDL, yeah, I'm going right, your total time. Right. Your total time up to when you get up, up to US Express is like what, fifteen years? Thir- it was like actually, yeah, it was, it was, it was almost right at about fifteen. So years, let's see, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No, it was like thirteen, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, years. so thir- so, so fourteen years of driving class b uh Mm -hmm. you you got into you got into trucking and you before you got with us express you was with another trucking company you you was with other trucking companies were they what correct were they uh because you did mention that you said that you drove with an owner operator so well let's let me let me clarify that okay the way I, the way, because of the way I received my license. Okay. Yes, I had my class B's for 12 years before started truck drive, driving um, A. Mm-hmm. What they were looking for, not class, not CDLs, period. They were looking for verifiable on insurance. So, you know, because I didn't go through a school, I could not be insured under a lot of trucking companies insurance okay. unless they paid so much money. So that's why for me to So that's why you went correct. that's why you went with the owner operator way. But correct. okay, so so the one that So the one that they actually verified which was the year was that a legitimate company that they actually verified? <laughs> I have to tell you. <laughs> I mean, no. Actually, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I actually had You had to, somebody to uh, come in and, and, and cook yeah, the books for yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you had to get somebody to cook the books for you in order to get in. So they only ver so yeah. they so in other words, they US Express didn't go by the length of time that you actually had uh had your CDL uh CDLs period. Right. They just only go by the time when you had the A, you had somebody to cook the books for you and when uh and Correct. they they can only verify that, but they still brought you in. I I can't say so I, I, I can't say for a starter company, US Express will be a good company to go with as a starter company because they as a starter company, I agree. They do give you they they they'll give you the they, they'll give you a chance, I would say. Mm-hmm. Now, once mm-hmm. you're in there, that's a whole different story. What's what's the story? You're so right. What's the story? Because we have another story. What's the story? <laughs> Go ahead. What's what's the story? So once you get in there, like I said, I wasn't getting paid for my full time of actually having my studios and all that. So I was actually getting paid less. Um, but of course, I was in. So of course, I got in. I'm driving Walmart. Okay. And um, Walmart dedicated. I loved the Walmart dedicated. I loved it. It was it was it was pretty cool, you know. Everybody, um, if you could get in, with, if pretty, you could get in with Walmart dedicated through U.S. Express, it is a good thing because I I drove it is, I yeah. drove that for a little bit, but 
Yes, I loved it. It was it was cool. It was pretty cool. I, you know, I didn't do any trip, and I actually got my first uh, driving on ice um, on the road, icy roads um, with U.S. Express and um, the little ice storm that Houston had. Um, I never had drove on ice before. Of course, you guys know if y'all know K Love, the original. She don't go what like I. I don't do it. You, you don't do it. I don't cross you the don't line. Cross, you don't go over the road. You stay in. <laughs> you you do not do you know, you, you're oh, not yeah. an over the road driver at all. Yeah. No, but I did I, I did get some experience with them as far as, you know, driving on ice, um and with that. But anyway, um it's pretty cool what they dedicated. So after a while I ended up being like a um on call driver. Mm. I'm like Mm, okay. I would get called sometime, then they would give call all these guys that they, you know, normally like or, you know, normally give money to, put money in their pocket. Then I found out some of the guys was paying the dispatcher. Mm. I'm not gonna pay you to work. This I'm sorry. I'm not gonna pay somebody to be their buddy. Mm. So mm. um I, my my experience there was I I had to go and contact the the man the transport transportation manager over um the U S Express Walmart department mm-hmm. and I told him you know dispatcher's not they're not dispatching me he's like oh no we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna take care of that we won't have no problems you know so I was like okay and so um the week uh, that week after that I got dispatched out every day. But after a while, it went right back down to being an on-call driver. You not, you know. And so I was like, okay, you know, I, I'm about to find me something else, you know, as they didn't call me. So I ended up finding another company to drive for. Mm-hmm. And then U.S. Express, after I, after I did apply for this company and, you know, go through all this, find out U.S. Express said that I abandoned my job and I never abandoned my job. They never called me to come back to work. Mm-hmm. And I had another company that I went to and that's what happened. That's, that's it. So that's, I had abandonment of my job that's on, on my on, license. On, on, on your, uh, on your DAC report, huh? So they, they actually, on my DAC so report, they actually, yeah. so they actually blackball. They, they call themselves trying to blackball you and from, from right. getting, uh, from, from getting, uh, another potential, uh, job. So what about, um, Mm-hmm. So what about what what about training? Uh, of course you had to get. Uh, of course you had to go out with a trainer uh, with U.S. Express. What was your What was your experience with that? I only did one day training. Oh, um, I only did a road test. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 So they so they brought you in as an experienced driver, so you didn't have to go out with a trainer, right? Okay. Right. They don't, like I said, I had two years experience, but they only gave me credit for, they only paid me for one year, but they credited me for a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. Okay. Yeah, correct. All right. So right now, right now, K-Love, you, you, you driving tankers now. How, how, what's your experience on, uh, what's your experience driving tankers? Cadillac. Cadillac, Cadillac. Um, all I do, man, I'm not gonna even lie. Let me let me first say this. Go ahead, go ahead. Like go I, ahead. my whole trucking experience mm-hmm. of driving mm-hmm. has been a blessing to mm-hmm. me. It has been a learning experience and I can also talk to a lot of, of, of females about, you know, getting into the trucking. I have done previous uh, i've even had a couple of uh, people that looked up to me as a mentor as you remember um i had one um uh, one of the drivers uh come on to um trucker kings and queens kings and queens when it was right and i still talk to nisi as as to this day um she's not driving trucks but I think she kind of stepped back, but she says she's trying to go get back into it but anyway back to me it it has been a blessing to me um and um, as far as um, driving, I love it. So, with that being said, um, are you are you a regional driver or are you a local driver with tankers? That's what I was just about to say. That's what I was just about to say. With that being said, I have a choice of doing which one I want. <laughs> um, the company I'm with is Quality Carriers. Okay. 
And actually, I'm an affiliate with uh, Quality Carriers. I'm with another company, um, an affiliated with them. And I actually, n- I'm not forced dispatch. Mm-hmm. Um, they call me, they, they text me, they let me know, hey, we got this going on, you want it? If I want if it's out of town, I take it two, three days. Mm-hmm. I'll say no, of course, you know that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if there's like one day out and back, yeah, I'll take it. So um, I'm not, I'm local slash regional, regional or okay. something like that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like I say, it's been a blessing to me. My, I mean, and I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not bragging. My, my money is not, um, it, it hasn't hindered me. And so all the way, I, like I said, I've been blessed. All so, right. so you, yeah. so uh, tanker. So what, what are you hauling? Uh, what are you hauling right now? Chemicals. 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 I right now I do uh, resin, which is almost like they mix that with every, everything to make anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, alcohol has been what uh, what what I've been hauling Ac- other than resin. <laughs> doing doing this alcohol. doing this C nineteen pandemic. Ha, ha, have you yeah. been Have you been yeah. hit by it? I've been hit by it. Um, it just slowed down, but before, I, like I said, I was doing, I was having a lot of alcohol. Um, like I said, I had even, I even had an experience with them where, um, they didn't call me for a while. And then all of a sudden they started, they called me back and was like, Hey, we need you, you know? So yeah, it's, it's been, it's been up and down. It's been up and down, but I'm, I'm dedicated to it cause I love driving trucks. Mm-hmm. And so I just been staying with it and it's, it's been working for me right. Um, right now. Um, I'm not driving as a, I'm not slash. I as have, of right now, you're, uh, so, as of right now, you're not driving. That's because like, yeah. Cause like, okay, let's put it like this but because of the, because of the pandemic 19. Yeah. Right. I, um, they call me maybe once a week Mm -hmm. and I am, um, on unemployment right now, but, um, so did you get, they still call me. So did you get the, did you get the stimulus? Did, did, what did, was you able to get a stimulus, uh, packet? From uh from from forty five to uh, from forty five. Oh, it's on his way. Okay, that's good. For what? Let's say wait, 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 uh, wait, uh, wait. Uh, let's 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 go okay. back. You say for how much? For how? Well, I thought it was twelve hundred. Okay. Yeah, I got twelve. Uh, well, it's 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 coming. It's on uh, okay. its way. I I, but, I, I yeah. thought it was twelve hundred. I don't know. I don't know what it yeah, is it now, is. but. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do now, which they haven't. I don't think they, you know, came to the conclusion on it. But yeah, all right, it's 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 on its way. It's on its way. I've checked, and yeah, it's it should be coming. But I have not received it just as of yet. Okay, okay. But um, yeah, I have checked, and I should be receiving it sometime soon. So K Love, but, um, super I am. super lady trucker. I, I I gotta give it to no, you, man. Super super, super man. lady don't trucker, that, man. <laughs> you you done it all, man. Flatbed, uh, containers, uh, and now you driving tank uh tankers, man. I I salute I salute you. You you've been in the game for 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 all these years, man, and and just tearing it up out there, man. So K Love, you know, we came together in in uh Trucker Kings and Queens uh several years ago. Uh it was this uh it's this Zello app uh that that you guys can download. I I don't I don't mess with Zello no more uh because of personal uh reasons, but when I was in there, you know, I was a strong supporter of uh of the group that we was in. It was a specialized group only uh you know, only a you know, the the group administrator only allowed uh, you know, just certain, you know, certain members in there, not, not to go, you know, into that. But, uh, while we was in there, you know, I, I met, uh, I met a whole a good group of people in there, you know, Captain Peanut, uh, Lawrence Bell, uh, niece, uh, uh what's her name? Nene? Nene? 
no, not Nana, Nana, Nana. Nana. She was a. Uh, are you gonna do my? Are you gonna do my love like that? Not, oh, my my that. my bad it's man. Nana. I mean, I haven't. You know, I I haven't. You know, <laughs> I I met I met. You know, I met Nana in person several times. As a matter of fact, uh, I I got her over to uh, J and R Schwugel. Uh, I'm I'm right. not sure if she's still driving there though. I I'm no, she's not. And and because she was driving Jed on Swoogle, she was able to come and see me. Okay, yes, but see, I in Texas the the last time that I the last time that I spoke with uh with Nana was oh man, I I want to say a year. It has it has to be a year because that's that's was the last time I think they gave her a new truck at the time and then after that i seen several posts later that you know that she you know don't drive for them no more or at least she don't talk she didn't talk about them no more at be in her posts like she was when um when she was driving for them so uh but yeah okay. nana uh steven b uh uh carolina, carolina d. d j vizzy carlos you know what I'm saying? All, 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 all them guys. You know, we all, we all had a had a good time in there. Uh, uh, Ace, yo, yo, Ace, yo, yo, Ace, Ace. Oh yeah, my G Slim. Ace. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, my yo, G Slim. Yeah, yeah, Ace. Yo, yeah, trucker, your favorite trucker. trucker. <laughs> uh, truckers, trucker, holla, holla back. Yeah, that 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 man. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm back, saying? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it was it was uh it was good times in there good times um uh yeah, we yeah. A- actually we learned a lot too um i you know uh Stephen b uh if i'm not mistaken he was a he he was an owner operator but he was he also had his own authority at a very very young age and he young age he yeah. he has for his age he has vast knowledge in 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 the industry mm-hmm. i mean a lot of people mm-hmm. a lot of people have learned from this from this young man for for i think he's like what 30 he's in his 30s or something like that and he yeah he's yeah and he had a vast uh a vast amount of knowledge but um unfortunately you know uh personalities clashed um and uh, you know it pretty you know it pretty much went to the wayside i you know i well only on my opinion and i'm gonna say it and i'm not ashamed to say it sometimes um, certain characters cannot accept uh characters who actually is more confident in their character than others Mm -hmm. so because of that i feel that that was the whole purpose of a lot of clashing right. with that situation. Right. Um, unfortunately, you know, uh, unfortunately it went to the wayside and, you know, I, you know, I kind of missed, uh, kind of missed out talking to, you know, talking to some key people that used to come up in there. K love being, right. you know, K love being one of them. Uh, my man slim being another. Um, and, you know, like I said, it's it's just cool that you know that I I I pride myself if if I can rock out with you or you rock out with me, you know we still you know we still keep it you know keep it one hundred. So K Love, I I appreciate you, man. I I appreciate you. I salute you as well. No, no I salute problem. you Thank as you. well. I mean, you know, <sighs> coming 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 on strong as a flatbed five foot nothing you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> and i just want to say just to a lot of female truck drivers if that is what your mind is set on don't give up the young the, the, the to the ones who are looking to get into trucking um if your mind is set on it do not give up do not let anything um discourage you of course, you're going to have a lot of things that come in play and that's going to detour you or try to detour you to uh, change your mind. But if it is um, so be what you want to do, do it. What What was some of the what, what was some of the I, I don't know, you know, you being a female in the game, 
what what was kind of, what was some of the um what was some of the ills that you came across in this industry uh especially being a black woman uh being a black, strong black woman being a truck well, driver course, what what kind um, of ills my, that you came came across so um of course, you know, I'm not over the road, so I didn't come in contact with a lot of the over the road type uh, mentality mm-hmm. that I hear some of the females talk of. But as for as, you know, some of the, the ones that I've actually interacted with, um, some of the guys who um, I, I can't, um, on the, the sexist wise, uh, you know, why are you in trucking? You know, you supposed to be teaching my kids or, you know, something like mm-hmm. that. I've had that uh, said. I've um, I've had you know just just so many negative things about you know a female. You can't do this, and you may not. Uh, you supposed to be having babies, not driving trucks or throwing chains. Is what the guy told me. So you so have you came across uh, have have you what what all other than that what what other negativities that you that you came across as a as a female truck driver. That pretty much that was all. I mean, I guess because I looked at a lot of things as a, you know, it, it was. I, I always I love a challenge. So um, to me, it may have been a negative or you know something to a downer to another female. But to me, a lot of the stuff is more. Um, my mind frame was more a challenge type thing. So you know, like I said, when I first got into it, I was like, I want to go to something that you know, to prove myself. So when I did flatbed, I was like, oh, you can't tell me nothing. You know, that was my attitude. So So I do what you do. So what do you think the hardest thing in the industry for a female? Um, uh, me as who I am, I really believe that the downfall of a female is, is pretty much her, uh, feminism. Um, uh, I mean, if you allow um, the negative talk to to affect you, then it can get to you because of you know being a female, because we're we're emotional creatures. But um, that to me, that's the only that that's my only mm-hmm. you know downfall that I feel that would that would hinder a female in this industry because to me, you know, we all are equal. I mean, we, I mean, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. Um, I can do all things in Christ who strengthens me. So with that being said, I don't feel like it's nothing that I can't. You, you put, hello. Uh Oh, I think we lost her. Y'all hold on. Hold on. Yep. I lost her. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Hello? We we lost you there for a second. You was in the you was in the zone and all of a sudden it just went ooh. <laughs> I know, I don't know. I don't oh, okay. know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh man, I forgot where you left off at. But uh you was you, uh, you, you yeah. was saying how you was I was oh, just, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just making a go ahead. I was just making a statement. Okay. I was just making a statement that um, you know, I don't feel like there's too many things that I could, you know, that uh, you can't do, you know. um, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So, therefore, I don't feel like there's nothing that I can't do without, you know. So, you say anything, you you say anything a man could do, you can do better. If I put my mind to it, if that's what I feel that I want to do. That's that's what's up, girl. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so before we get on up out of here, uh, before we get on up out of here right quick, um, uh, K-Love reached out to me yesterday. Um, 
she knows that, you know, my podcast, uh, you know, I do plenty of, you know, I do plenty of stories, you know, not, you know, not, uh, sometimes it's not driver or truck driver related or trucking related. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, I do outside of the box. I talked about, uh, Ahmad Avery, uh, I talked about a young lady uh, a couple of years ago and uh and now uh K Love brought uh this other situation to my attention where Brianna Brianna Taylor. what's her name? Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. She um she was the EMT she was the e, the black EMT driver that was shot and killed by uh Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky police in her own home. Uh, she was shot eight times. Uh, K Love wanted to bring, you know, bring that to my attention. Um, how, 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 how do you feel? How do you feel about that situation? What, what, what do you want to say about it? I pretty much wanted to say um, I'm pretty, you know, on that situation. She was, like you say, she was 26. She was in her own apartment. Um, she was an EMT slash nurse. Um, she worked at two uh, emergency rooms um, there during the COVID-19. Uh, mm -hmm. Her mom was pretty much worried about her not washing her hands and catching COVID, and she ended up having to now uh today is um may 15th um i heard as of today she still have not heard any reason why her daughter was pretty much targeted um the reason i say that is because um they went into her apartment her and her boyfriend was in her home asleep um they the police Louisville, kentucky police come in um with this supposed to be at first they were stating that it was a uh, announced that they knocked and they um announced that they were the police but i guess because of so many um witnesses around inside the apartments were stating that they they know they didn't announce and they just went in they had to change that to a no knock um situation so I did see that in the um, research, but they ended up going in and like you say, she got shot eight, eight times. But what bothers me the most is because I'm a, um, I'm a licensed um, to carry person and the boyfriend also has his her license to carry and he was protecting him and her their property which a licensed person has that right to do um he heard and reacted they broke the boundaries of their property entered into their property and he did just what any any one of us would have done including any other race um would have now, done in in that situation. I, I I you know I, I I read the story. Uh, I read the story. I heard the news articles. Um, and this and this was a while back too. It's it's so much. Two years. I mean, it's so months. much stuff that's going on out here. Uh, that's that's involving <laughs> black people. That's coming out yeah. now. Like. This happened like what two months ago? This that back up in February, two months ago. February, February, March, it's April. It was in March. It, it was, was in it March. Was, it so March. this this incident right yes. here, this March thirteenth, it actually yeah. Happened so March this 13th. young lady right here, she got you know she got shot and killed by the police, and we haven't heard nothing. Well, they're probably like I said about the Amai Avery situation. We probably heard something right. about it back then. But not as much. But not, didn't know, didn't didn't know nothing right, had been done right. about it. Right now, it's because right now, as of today, yeah. two, two months, months later, later now everybody, now everybody's are, talking about it. Now everybody running to get you know to get uh, all sides of the stories. This like the Amai Avery situation. Correct. You know, if it hadn't have been for Correct. that video coming out. If it hadn't have been for that video, if, I, I think if it hadn't have been for that video, we would still not know nothing about 
uh, the Ahmad Avery Correct. situation. You know what I'm saying? So now, mm-hmm. so now I'm I'm just. I'm I'm just feeling some kind of way that that this stuff is happening to, you know, to to people of color and we we don't know nothing about the story until months later. That's well it it is it is it is kind of, you know, striking, but I'm not a political person. I, I try not to get, you know, religious and political mm-hmm. a lot because of Same those two Same people here. get too sensitive. Right, right. They get too sensitive with. But what I feel, just as the Trayvon Martin back then, they were trying to divert everybody's attention off of what was going exactly. on in the White well, in the White House. So I do feel that that has something to do with it because here again, your leader, or so say, uh, is doing what he's doing, and now they're trying to divert our attention off of that to this, which of course we should, um, you know, divert our attention at the moment. But let's not get too loose on what's going on in the White House, also. But with that, I wanted to say about the boyfriend, um, the police officer, the three police officers. Uh, no, four, po- three or four police officers. Well, it says right here. It says this. right here that it was, uh, it was three, it was three police officers that came that 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 came in. They they claimed that they announced themselves. Um, they announced right. themselves. Um, I'm going to assume that the boyfriend either didn't hear them. You know what I'm saying? Because we well, we was um, not we was time, not there. The we time, we was not there. So right, we can't right. I can't speculate on what actually happened. But what actually happened, correct. But he fired first. He fired first. Which, again, like I stated, like I stated, anyone in that situation would have. You see somebody coming into your home, you think they're burglarizing, you think they're there to harm you. So you are in self defense mode. You know, you're afraid for your life. You come to where I'm supposed to be safe at. So he did just what he was supposed to do, fire off. Okay. Um, they unannounced come in, so I'm going to unannounce fire so, off. You understand do, what I'm saying? He hit one of the officers in the leg. Was, was, and they killed They, they killed the girl. Girlfriend. Right. But do, do they got, so do, do, it mention, a, do it mention anything anywhere? Do it mention anywhere about... <laughs> About the body cams. Did they have body cams on? Did they have any recording devices no on? No one, and I'm glad you mentioned that because I wanted to tell you this. Neither one of them, narcotics division, neither one of them had body cams. But this young man, hear me out, lock out, this young man is facing Attempted murder charges. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to try it. Yeah, exactly. Assault and attempted murder charges to a police officer when y'all killed the girl, his girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, it, you it, it's, what I'm it's, saying? It's, but neither one of you guys had body cams. And y'all came in. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Can we? It's can, gonna, we can we? Go it's back? gonna be. It's gonna be his. Can we it's go gonna back? be his word against. Exactly. Three quote unquote yes. three exactly. dedicated police officers. That's that's how they're going. Exactly. That's how they're going to play well, it in court. Well, a lot of a lot of uh, information have come out. Some of those police officers have had issues, of course, within the so so many amount of uh, years that they've been uh, into um, police officing. And one I do remember reading where one of them punched a lot of uh, had a lot of. Uh, black eyes and um, broken noses to whomever he was bringing in. So with that being said, I mean, I'm not going to let you get close to me to do something like that. So um, especially by me being a license to carry just as well as you. Um, but Demanding I wanted answers to go today. back. It's going to be, you know, it's it's going to be, you know, because I'm, 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 I'm still here uh, reading uh reading the you know reading the situations that that happened to this uh unfortunate uh young lady uh 20 yeah, 26 years old uh she she Boy, had a she had a bright future ahead of her you know and you know and right. and, and we love and people love we need, life we, you know 
for everybody that's looking for justice, we we need answers. We we really need to know Correct. what really happened. Did did the cops announce their sales? Did they not announce their sales? Uh, did did they Correct. announce their sales and uh, and the boyfriend just shot? You know, just you know, just shot. You know what I'm saying? We uh, again, Correct. again, we we don't know. We wasn't. We we're not there. We can't. We can't speculate now. It's it's unfortunate that that you know the young lady you know lost her life in the hell of bullets you know you know she was shot eight times you know you you got a gang you got three police officers you know uh, they 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 itchy they trigger finger is itchy I don't care what nobody said I, I don't I don't care what nobody say all I I know police officers personally and. They, 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 they trigger figure it's itchy, black, white, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I, I had I, one of my, one of my good buddies is a police, is a Cleveland police officer. And he, you know, he was tried for murder because, uh, because the one guy shot at, I think, I think he, I think he was shot at and he returned fire, but not only him, but a couple of other cops returned fire too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you know, so it's like it, it's like it's like I'm I'm not sure how they you know the old saying goes: shoot first, talk later. You know what I'm saying? But you got when when Correct. when when the officer like when when the officer says, and this is the key word, gun, or he has a gun, or he has a weapon. They they finger goes from 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 the west motion onto the trigger and then they they let off, you know this other gen, this because this now they fear now exactly life. this one gentleman that was in the car I talked about I talked about him uh, a while back and YouTube actually took the video down, uh, but I talked about him uh, he was a rapper guy he was sleeping the in the drive through. Um, uh, the the uh, the restaurant called the police. The police came over to the car. Um, he was asleep. His gun was in his was was in his lap. And uh, you know the police tried tried and tried and tried and tried to, to you know to wake him up. Next thing next thing I know that happened. Somebody said it was movement, and you had. You had two cops on the driver's side, two cops on the passenger side, a cop in the back and a cop in the front. Un they they literally unloaded into this young man. And it was it it, it it was it was it it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? So but unfortunately for her, for this young lady right here, you know, no body cam evidence. So it's gonna be uh the young man's word against three officers you know what i'm saying well so. i want to add into there um so a lot of people will know that the reason these cops were saying they're narcotic cops stating that they were undercover they had a search warrant for her they were undercover had on plain mm -hmm. clothes that they were looking for her in her apartment now they're looking for a girl in her apartment, not a girl in a guy's apartment, a girl in her apartment. Um, and they're looking for her. They have the warrant for her, but they had a warrant for the wrong person. For her, that was for a girl. Another, yeah, hold it, on, for an, another guy, another guy that was already apprehended. Right the previous day so this guy is already apprehended and in their custody but yet you still go to her home search one her home and then you end up killing her hmm. but you already have this guy and the place that y'all were actually supposed to be looking going to was 10 miles away from the apartment that you were at hmm. Well, rest in peace to this uh, young lady. Uh, what's her name again? Brianna. 
Brianna, Brianna Taylor. Taylor. Brianna, Brianna Taylor. Brianna Taylor. Taylor. Remember, yes. remember that name, y'all. Brianna Taylor. Rest in same, peace, Brianna same Taylor. Thing for her, same thing for my man Ahmad, Justice. for Ahmad Arbery. Uh, rest in peace yes. to him. I mean, there's so much. It is what what this pandemic that's going on and with this racial tension yes. that's going on uh uh and and this in the cops situation that's going on i i don't even know when it's going to end man it's is i i don't even know when it's going to end you know is there going to be any type of justice for us is there going to be any is there going to be any uh any 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 changes man i don't know i don't know but uh k love thank you for coming on hold on right quick that was the wrong that, thank, that you, was for the wrong thank you for having me thank you for having me that the wrong button hold on there we go thank you for coming on k love i really do appreciate it man thank you thank you very much enjoy enjoy uh, thank you oh, for having no me problem. thank you for you guys no listening. problem man thank you for coming on sharing your experience you uh five foot nothing super trucker you um <laughs> you know if you want to come back on you can definitely come back on with me anytime we can we can chop it up uh about anything uh sundays guys check out this uh check out sundays is going to be uh truckers talk uh that's going to be like an open conversation uh with uh with with any special guests that i will bring on you know what i'm saying uh, and we'll just talk about anything we can talk about trucks we can talk about current events we can talk about anything so uh stay tuned for that make sure y'all tune in for that if you like to come on and chop it up with me on the podcast Yo, hit me up in the uh, Gmail. That's lockoutmenpodcast at gmail.com. Uh, hit me at the text 216 600 2090. And you can go over to Instagram, subscribe over there, and DM me in the. Uh, in the in the instagram and as always if you like content like this you can hit me up by like sh uh, like subscribe share and comment and hit that bell and that all button for more content on this i am your humble host lockout men this is k love k love i appreciate you coming on sweetheart you stay safe out there thank you you do the same all right and on that note, everybody, we are gone. I'm not going to even lie to you. And I'm not trying, like I said, I'm not trying to be, you know, conceited or anything, but just confident. A lot of guys look at me and they be like, good, good, look at all the hands. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. That's what's up. You know, I have to stop on the floor. You man. had to, you had to <laughs> so, go back. You, you had to go yeah. back and be like, "Yo, hold up, wait a minute." Yeah, back, hey, back hey, up, hey. man. Back up, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to do my job, yeah, man. Let's, let's trying to do my job. Trying to do my job. Let trying to do get, my job, let man. Me get my, let me get my hoops. Trying, together. trying to do my job, man. Do what do like try, yo, yo, back, back, <laughs> back it up, back, back there it up, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not here for you, man. I'm not here for you. We, we not. Yes, so it's to me it was it's 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 just strictly strictly out here doing my job. That's it. So I don't try to. I mean, I I, I know it's there, but I try to just uh, ignore it. I, I'm not here. I'm not here for you. Back it up. All right, yo. So, um, <laughs> yo, man, thanks for coming on again, man. I, I do appreciate no it. No problem. And, um, Thank you, like I, and I appreciate you getting that out there for Brianna and her not mom a problem. is not a um Paula. Uh, yeah, so that is like, well, and you know, it's crazy because just last night, um, I went to get my hair done. And you know, you know, let me give you my story mm -hmm. for the day. Go get my hair done today. No, I hadn't heard the news for the day because, of course, I overslept. And so I get here to the place where I was supposed to be getting my hair done, and I'm pull up to the, you know, to the, in the in the, in the parking mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. Channel 2 News um, van is in the parking lot. I don't pay no attention to it. You know, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh, okay, there's a bunch of, you know, people sitting in the mm -hmm. parking lot. Well, 
I'm sitting there. I'm like, okay, the the lady, the white lady, jump out, you know, with her little mic in her hand. I'm like, oh, that's that's Trump too. Of course, I knew it was, but I was. Just, it, it never dawned to me, you know, that they was probably from the interview, probably from the, you know. So I'm like, what's going on? I'm all nosy. So I'm looking, and the little, the black young lady come across the parking lot, start talking to the to the to the white lady, and so then uh, expert ex, expert expedition pulls up, swings in, and pulls in, and they jumping out their trucks with with uh, equipment, you know, cameras. This, that's Channel 13 here in Houston. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, wait, that's 13 News. That, of course, that's my breaking news. I watch Channel 13. That's my, my go-to mm-hmm. uh, channel. So I'm like, that's 13. Wait a minute. What's going on? So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Of course, I'm nosy, so I go on breaking news on the Internet, say, let me see if I can see what's going on. I'm on Sky Street. So I'm, like, trying to look. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Finds a guy shot and killed um, Sky Street in the, in the intersection of Sky Street. I'm like, oh, this is it right here. So I'm reading, reading, reading. What happened was young man been drinking, mm-hmm. had a gun in his waistband, Police was called out, a uh, guy brandishing a firearm, and um, that was the original call. First um, officer on the scene, he gets out of his car trying to, you know, apprehend the guy. The guy is just, you know, going in circles, talking, and, you know, not, not you know, um, following orders or whatever. As they're waiting for backup, as he waiting for backup, he has his taser out because, of course, he knows that the guy has a gun because the original call is brandishing a gun, a firearm. And so um, he has his taser out. And so before or right as they, they say right as um, backup was getting mm-hmm. there, the guy goes for his waistband. And that's when the guy switches from his, the police officer switches from his taser to his gun and shoots and kills wow. the guy. Woo. And that happened and, and that happened yeah. right over there near you. That happened last, last night, night near you. That happened last night. Yeah, well near where I went to get my hair done at and, and they were just so happened to interview the 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 sister, the guy's sister in the parking lot of where I was getting my hair done. And then they even came in and asked the beautician lady if she had cameras and all that. Everybody that was so in that can, little yeah. shopping center. Um uh, so they can try to, you know, see what who all had uh, cameras on them or, or whatever. But uh, yeah, that that wow. <laughs> we they study killing us. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right, K Love. All right, man.